Did you catch what St. Paul said in that second reading? I will most gladly boast of my weaknesses. Hmm. Now why on earth would somebody do that? Of all the things to boast about, he chooses to boast about his weaknesses. I think about boasting for a moment. When we boast, we advertise, right? We actually do commercials for ourselves, you know that? To boast is to draw attention to, to advertise. The things that we think give us an edge or give us an advantage over other people. And we boast of our accomplishments. We boast of our successes, sometimes our possessions. Whatever makes us look good. But we don't draw attention to our weaknesses, do we? We don't want nobody to know. because they don't make us look good. So we hide our weakness. We're embarrassed over our weakness. We want our weakness out of people's sight. But not St. Paul. When it comes to his weaknesses, he says he's learned to boast that in his spiritual journey, he sees his weakness gives him an edge, an advantage spiritually. And how is this? Well, he gives us the answer in the reading. He says, I will the more gladly boast of my weaknesses that the power of Christ might rest upon me. Now, everybody's got weakness of some kind or another, right? But Paul's got a different way of looking at weakness than we typically do. Rather than see it simply as a deficit or a handicap, he views his weakness as a portal. It is a doorway a pathway by which the grace of God gains access to his life. He sees his weakness as an entryway for grace, the power of God, to flood him. I think this tells us something about weakness. God. I think he gives weakness a ministry to carry out in our lives. And the way weakness ministers to us is that it teaches us that it can be turned to our advantage. If we let it, it can give us an edge spiritually. It's meant to school us in trusting, depending upon the Lord. And I think a lot of us Christians, if you're like me, we're muscle flexing Christians. We draw attention to our strength And St. Paul says the Lord taught him a valuable spiritual lesson, and it's to draw attention to where he's weak. Because when he's weak, he says, then I am strong. If I have learned to trust God with my weakness, then the power of Jesus Christ comes to rest on me. You see, when we're dependent, we see power. 
because that trust of ours in the Lord when we're struggling attracts the grace of God. It draws down the grace of God upon us. And it doesn't mean we cease to wrestle with weakness. You know as well as I, there's stuff in our lives we will be wrestling with for a lifetime. And some of us have. But here's the difference. It's one thing when you're wrestling is only a matter of your own willpower. But it's a different affair when your wrestling is fueled by the grace and the power of God. This is why St. Paul boasts. He's learned that his weakness can be a portal and the grace of God gains entry to his life through his weakness. Have we learned this precious spiritual truth? I think this is why sometimes God will leave an affliction in our lives rather than remove it. Though we have begged him time and time again, Lord, take this away. St. Paul did that. And yet the Lord chooses to not remove it, but to leave it. Leave us in our affliction. Leave us in our trial. Leave us in our weakness for a season. And sometimes the season lasts a long time. Why does he do this? There is a humility that comes when we have to face, I can't. Lord, I can't handle it. And that humility opens us to a God who can handle it. And so as we learn to depend on him, then his grace comes through that portal that's our weakness. And he fuels us in our struggle against whatever it is that we're trying to resist. You see, the trial may not end. And as a pastor, I've seen lots of people where the trial doesn't end. But we get transformed through the trial. The church word for it is sanctification. We get sanctified, made more like Jesus. So St. Paul says, I have learned to boast of my weaknesses. I see them not merely as a handicap, but rather as a portal. Grace from God comes to me when I trust him where I'm weak. And my friends, our Lord Jesus Christ wants to do the same for each one of us.